Hello everyone, I'm Ita Sites and I'm back with you this time on my third devlog. Now, it's been a few weeks since the last devlogs, and I'm here again to share my progress. I've been talking about adding guns and combat after having done the movement, and I think that it's time, even though I'll have to rework some movement mechanics later on. So let's talk about combat. My weapon system is nothing original, you can see a similar style in most games, but I'm mostly taking inspiration from Team Fortress 2. So I'm implementing a loadout with three weapons, which are primary, secondary, and melee weapons. I'm primarily using standard firearms, but just like in TF2, not all weapons will be firearms. There will be utility items and meme weapons as well. Until some changes in the future, players will remain as capsules, or beans, as you might know them. Also, characters won't have arms for a while, given that I suck at modeling anything human. So. In order to let players select their weapons, I add the menu to the connection UI of my game, which is a placeholder and will be hopefully replaced by a more complicated loadout menu. By using this menu, players choose a loadout before connecting to the game. For now, there are three options for each of the weapon slots. As a primary weapon, you have the assault rifle, the shotgun and the heavy machine gun, or the Zeus. There's definitely a copyright pending for that one. The choices for the secondary weapons are the Uzi, the Desert Eagle, and the Hand Grenade. And at last, you can choose the Crowbar, the Frying Pan, or the Axe as your melee weapons. So let me tell you a bit about the mechanics of gunplay. I'll be using Raycasts instead of projectiles for shooting, as this will ease workload on the server. Instead of using a projectile to show where the player is shooting, I'm using muzzle flashes and currently a not so good looking hit particle. Every weapon has different stats like the reload duration, the magazine size or the amount of damage per bullet. I set all these up easily thanks to Unity's scriptable objects. I also added shooting and reload animations and created outlines for weapons and players to make it all a bit more visually clear. I've added some very much needed mechanics for a multiplayer FPS game like health, dying and respawning. I don't know how the game looks to you, but I'm having fun playing it with a few friends. The way I implemented health is pretty simple for now, let me explain. When a player's raycast hits another player's collider, the health of the player that's been hit decreases by the current weapon of the player that hit them. If your health is zero, the movement and shooting scripts of your player get temporarily disabled. You get teleported somewhere else on the map, and then the scripts get re-enabled. Although there is still a lot to do. The scope of the game is still too little, and mechanics have to be improved. There are also a few bugs that have to be fixed. Even implementing a basic combat system took me hours and hundreds of lines of code. But I'm motivated enough to continue development and make this game even more fun to play. So here's what I want to do for the next devlogs. I'd like to add a death feed on the top right, where you can see who killed who. I want to add a leaderboard, which you can open up by pressing tab to view who's in the server and also who has the most kills. I think the game needs new maps with uh, more context as well, given that this map is more like a prototype level and also add nice lighting and reflections to said maps. I also want to create some human models to get rid of these beans. Also adding sounds is critical for me, I want the game to sound good and I couldn't really manage to do this with my previous games, so that's a big goal for this game. All these are already big goals and accomplishing them will take some time, but I'll gladly be working on them. This was a little update about what I've done and what my plans are about this game. I'm still pretty new to making devlogs, so please give me your recommendations at the comment section or on my discord server. Maybe I could try posting longer devlogs with more gameplay, adding a bit more humor or using some webcam footage in the devlogs, but I'm all ears to your suggestions. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I have a discord server where I love to chat with anyone and everyone, and where I post little updates about this game. The invite link for that is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like the video. See you all later.